Within this video, we're going to continue working through our lesson three student guide for the Rue Goldberg machines. Specifically, we're going to come down here and be working through my cab, um, excuse me, my watermelons. Now, the goal in this case is to actually create a giant mess, but don't worry, we'll add in some buckets so it'll be a nice, easy cleanup in the long run. And to make our lives really easy, we're going to go ahead and duplicate the watermelon that we have in here. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we are currently using the move gizmo and then we have our watermelon selected. So just left mouse click on it. Next, I'm going to hold down the alt key on the keyboard and left mouse and click on any one of these arrows. And if you're on a Mac, go ahead and hold down option and left mouse click, and you'll see that you can actually drag out a new one. Now I do need to let go of the keyboard completely if I want to go ahead and duplicate another one, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this straight down. So now let's go ahead and see if these are actually going to fall through here and slice down on our sharp cheese. Cool. It's doing exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and reset that by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Now, before we move on, I do want to throw in a little pro tip that's going to be really helpful. Did you know that if you hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click and drag on one of these little arrows on the gizmo, it'll actually move the camera along with the object, which can be really helpful if you're trying to line things up. Another really nice tip is that when you select an object, then press the F key on the keyboard, it'll frame it. And now if you hold alt on windows and option on a Mac and left mouse click and drag, you can actually orbit around the object. And of course, if you want to reset the camera, in this case, just press the three key on the keyboard. And the last pro tip I want to throw out there is one that's going to be really nice to be able to move the camera and actually duplicate an object at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key on the keyboard or options on a Mac and shift on the keyboard. And when I click and drag on this arrow now, I can actually move the camera and create yet another duplicate, which is really, really handy. So I'm going to let go of everything on the keyboard and just hold down shift and left mouse click and drag just to move this up a little bit. So now I've got three watermelons that I'm going to try and drop down here below. And then to reset the camera again, remember you can just press the three key on the keyboard. All right, with those pro tips out of the way, let's go ahead and put in those buckets to clean up this mess. So I want to go ahead and put these buckets down here below so that if watermelons fall to one side or the other, I'll actually be able to catch them. So to do this really easily, I want to get my camera down here and we're going to use the tools that we just learned. I'm going to go ahead and click on my wedge down here at the very bottom, press the F key on the keyboard, and I'm going to go ahead and use my scroll wheel on my mouse to kind of zoom out a little bit. And then I'm going to hold down Alt, and left mouse click and drag or options on a Mac. And I'm just going to line myself up so I'm basically edge on on my wedge. Now to add in the actual buckets, I'm just going to come down into my content drawer way down here in the bottom left hand corner. And inside of here, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the content section right here at the top. And then over here on the far right, I'm going to go into my static meshes folder. And I'm actually going to be using this little section right here. This is our little filter section. And if I type in the word toy and then bucket, we'll actually find what we're looking for. So this toy bucket. So I'm just going to click and drag this up here and then pull it back. So it's right about there. That should work. Now to duplicate this, of course, I'll just hold down Alt, left mouse click and drag, or Options, and left mouse click and drag on a Mac, and just pull this one over just a little bit. Now the problem that we have here is that this wedge is not going to be high enough to actually cut those watermelons. So what I want to do is just select it and then just lift it straight up about like so. Now to double check all of my work, I'm going to press the three key on the keyboard to reset the camera, and then hold down Alt and left mouse click and drag, and I should be able to kind of orbit around, and it looks like it's pretty good, but let's go ahead and grab these two buckets. So I'm gonna click one and then hold down Control or Command on a Mac, and left mouse click and drag on the second one. I'll be able to move both of them here. There we go, like that. All right, this should actually catch everything. Let's go ahead and press three on the keyboard to reset the camera, and then I'll press the play button up here at the top of the interface. And that worked pretty well. We could, of course, go ahead and move a few things around, but give that a shot. See how much of a mess you can actually clean up by using these buckets to catch your watermelon pieces.